Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources is turning to emergency funding to help keep the deer populations alive through the winter. Yeah, heavy snow year is making it tough to find food. New specialist Mike Anderson shows us why this effort is especially important coming out of a very dry summer. In this remote part of Rich County, the daily feeding for these deer looks a bit different now than in most years. Dakota Prey is just one of many people who are helping to make sure the deer can find food, even if it has to be dumped out by the bagful. Now you can go out and feed, and within minutes, the deer are already down onto the feed. And it happens today, too. A group of them close in as we back away. This area where they'd normally feed on their own just isn't as accessible as it should be. This is normally one of the open hillsides that usually melts off each storm. The long-lasting cold and deep snow are making it tough for some to survive otherwise, especially as they're already coming off a very dry summer. So yeah, they kind of go hand in hand. If we have a really dry summer and then a really bad winter, the deer really struggle just because they're, they haven't had the chance to build up the body fat. Officers and mostly volunteers really will keep doing this until sometime in the spring when the slopes start to melt off and the deer will better be able to get to their own food. The last time the DWR had to emergency feed like this was back in 2017. Right now, volunteers are taking care of most of the efforts in parts of Rich and Summit counties, but they don't want just anybody pitching in. The problem with the general public feeding deer is they're usually not being fed the correct stuff. Uh, deer have really sensitive digestive systems. Um, people might go buy their own stuff and it'll actually be too rich for them and could end up killing them. And by doing the feeding out here, where they're used to going, it helps keep them safe. Just because the areas they may be feeding may be in towns where they can be, you know, greater threat to getting hit by cars. But while it does give officers and volunteers a unique chance to work with the wildlife. I wish we didn't have to. Ideally, we could have an easier winter and have the deer survive um, much better than they will this year. In Rich County, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.